What's up everybody and welcome to another Barrowketeer video. We're here on the Mercury Relay on Lorunda. Barrow is back. Let's go check out what he has brought for us this time around. So we're going to start off with cosmetics. We've got the Taxon Desert Camo Skin. No preview for some reason. However, I've got a thing on screen for you now just showing how it looks. I quite like it. I think it's kind of cool. It goes with the sort of Grineer Desert Camo set that you can buy for your weapons. Um, you've got the twin gremlins in there. I can't remember how, what weapons are in there. Gorgon probably is in there. But it is a good looking little sentinel. 200 ducats, 150,000 credits. It's kind of expensive for a sentinel that's sort of aimed at newer players. Um, I don't know many older players that are really using Taxon still. Um, a lot of them are using Carrier or Helios or Diriger or something like that. Taxon isn't really used above a certain mastery level so you know maybe this will bring you back to using ta uh, taxon if you like the like the camo enough but honestly i think it's kind of expensive for something that's aimed at a newer player but you know it's here if you want it uh we've also got the hydron uh, hydron hydroid immortal skin it's not bad looking it looks all right on its prime I i'm not a huge fan of hydroid anyway so i mean that's not really going to help matters but if you like Hydroid, 550 ducats, it's quite expensive. 100,000 credits isn't too bad, but that 550 ducats really is very, very high. But, you know, it's I, I think it's been a while since this actually came back last time, so it might be worth picking it up while it's here just to, you know, make sure that you've actually got it. Same thing goes really with the Zephyr Immortal skin. I actually do like this one, though. She, it looks pretty good on her. Um, I like it quite a bit. 500, again, 550 ducats. It's very expensive. Um, 550 ducats is nothing to be sneezed at, especially when you think like some parts are only worth like, you know, 10 or 50 or whatever. You know, it takes a while to build up 550 ducats for this thing. So it's it's quite expensive, but it's a good looking skin. And again, I don't think it's been around for a while. So it might be, again, worth picking up while it is here. Then we've got the armor set. The, uh, the Prisma Daedalus armor set, which is one of my favorite ones. It's a pretty good shape. I actually quite like the shape, and uh, you can see all of these really cool Prisma effects going on. Um, I, I I used to use this set all the time, actually, on my Nyx. Um, I, I switched it out for the, as you can see, the Tenocon one at the moment. But, like, previously I used to use the, um, the one for my, uh, yeah, this is what I used to use on my necks all the time. And there's the chest piece. 150 ducats for the chest piece isn't too bad. 100,000 credits is kind of expensive, but, you know, that's not so bad, especially since we had the double credit weekend last weekend, I want to say. Um, the thing about the chest piece, don't you can't tell me. Does, like, Am I the only one that thinks like, it looks like, kind of like Mirage's face? Like the, the uh, is it the Harlequin one? It kind of looks like Mirage's face, right? I'm gonna ruin Mirage's face for you, or this, uh, or this armor set. Either way, but yeah, 65 each for the um, legs and armor pieces, uh, legs and armor pieces, and then 75,000 credits for each of them as well, and then 150 and 100,000 for the chest piece. It's quite an expensive set when you put them all together, but I think it's worth it. It's a very, very good-looking one. If you like your fashion ship, carry kit in, noggle statues around. I kind of wish you could like make the noggle do its own thing, like both like twisting it and then like watch his head bobble around crazily. But you know, I don't mind it. It's not a bad looking thing. Um, you know, 70, 70 ducats, two hundred fifty thousand credits is quite a lot of credits. But you know, at the end of the day, it's something for your ship. And I've got five of them. If you fancy like sticking this down on your ship, like increasing your uh, your fashion ship, as it were, then you may as well pick this up, I guess, while it's here. Then we've got one of my favourite looking skins in the game, this Optical Elixir skin. Look at the patterning on that, it absolutely is incredible. I love the Elixir like, set. You've got this, you've got the Redeemer. I think there's another one that I can't remember, but look, just look at that patterning. It looks so good, I absolutely love this thing. I don't use the Optical a huge amount, but I, I picked this up immediately as soon as I saw it. 325 ducats, 250,000 credits. It's not too bad, I guess, but I mean, it's fairly expensive. Oh, look at that. Look at, look how good looking that is. 
for such a good looking skin, yeah. Definitely pick this up while it's here, I would say, especially if you like the Opticore. Same thing with the Xyphos Prisma skin. Look how cool that looks. Look, I love the color. I don't know what the color is. It's like, I guess, I'm going to say like a dark purple, I want to say. Kind of like, uh, all of you guys in the comments are going to be like, what? Headshot. That's definitely not dark purple, but yeah. Um, I don't know what kind of that really is, but it looks incredible. That default color skin, uh, color scheme is absolutely brilliant. And look at all the, like, all the prisma effects going on. Like, even down into the engine, like, the prisma effects are going on. I love it. Absolutely pick this up. It is expensive. 220 ducats isn't too bad. 400,000 credits, though. <laughs> it's quite expensive. But I would say it's worth it. I think, look how, look how good that looks. It really looks absolutely incredible. Now, moving on to the mods this time. Prime Charge Shell. Oh, I am. No, let's move down here. I forgot this little display. I, don't, I guess it's because I don't really like this. I don't like the shape of the display. I don't know why. It's just something. It's too chaotic for me. I don't think it really fits my ship at all. But, you know, if you want a free display to, like, put some stuff up on your ship, 100 ducats, 75,000 credits. Uh, I mean, I've got 11 of them, despite not really looking like. I'm, despite not really liking the look of them. I don't know why. It's kind of an odd shape. It's really, really weird. But, you know, if you want to display something on your ship, it's uh, available here from Barrow Kateer this time around. Now we're going to move on to the mods. Prime Charge Shell for the Shotgun. Huzzah! I'm looking for... Uh, well, I say I'm looking forward to it. I didn't know it was coming. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is going to fa like fuse fantastically into radiation, into corrosive... Uh, it's just going to be such a good mod. I, I absolutely recommend picking this up. It's not even that expensive. 350 ducats, 200,000 credits for a prime mod. It's not too bad. Although, I guess you've got to take into account the fact that you've got to spend, what, 43, 44,000 endo and about 2.5 million credits as well. But, you know, I, I am absolutely going to be putting this on, like, this on, like, my, uh, like a a rivened comb or something if you're running a corrosive comb this is just going to do like this is going to strip armor and kill heavily armor targets ridiculously quickly so you know it's going to be very very good definitely definitely pick this up this time around we've also got the impact mods now i'm not going to recommend picking these up um only you pick these up if you're not a fan of the eidolon fight Every single one of these will drop from the Eidolon. I only started with one of each. Um, and now you can see 15, 20, 13, or 18. It's not that hard to get hold of these, I don't think. Like, I've got so many of them. I've got loads and loads of spares. I, if you're just gonna, if you're gonna fight Eidolons, just, just pick these up from there instead. Um, and save your ducats. Because, I mean, 300 ducats and 150,000 credits. They're expensive. Like, I mean, this is 300, 330, 365, 400 ducats. And Collision Force isn't even that good because even you think about it, there's a prime mod for in Impact Melee. I would definitely, definitely not recommend picking these up. Uh, just farm them or honestly, sell a couple of prime parts, buy them in trade chat. These things are so cheap. Everyone just is trying to get rid of them. Like, you can, you can pick them up for five flat, probably very very easily like five platter piece i i would absolutely recommend selling a couple of prime parts and buying them that way instead of buying them from barrow save your ducats save your credits not worth buying them from barrow and then we've got the two weapons this time around one of my favorite weapons ever the original uh, weapon from the ambulance reborn event and that is the super vandal the corpus a heavy machine gun, I guess. I guess it's a minigun kind of thing. Absolutely love this weapon. Absolutely incredible. It is brilliant. Um, I can't, like, heap enough praise on this thing. 500 ducats, 275 turns and credits. Buy this thing. It is actually very, very, very effective. Build this for, like, a mixture of status and crit. And this thing will shred anything in front of it. I really like it a lot. Especially if you get an incredible ribbon for this thing. It's got a very high disposition. I think it's got 5 out of 5, I want to say. It might be 4 out of 5. But this thing is brilliant. So much fun to use as well. It's just like got theatre. 
it sounds cool, it looks cool. Yeah, I can't I can't give this enough like enough praise. Super Vandal, amazing. And honestly, Probe Vandal ain't bad now either. And like especially with the melee rework coming up soon as well, I would definitely recommend picking this up ready for that. I don't think the melee rework is too far off. I think it's probably I'm I'm gonna put my neck on the line here and say about a month, a month and a half away, is what I wanna say. I actually think it's going to be fairly soon, so I would recommend picking up this just in preparation for that. It's not a bad weapon as it is, like not right now anyway, um, it's not a bad weapon. Um, since you can build it for status, you can't build it for crit, but you can build it for status, which means you can take advantage of how ridiculously strong condition overload is. So I would definitely, I'd definitely say pick it up right now, 410 ducats, 250,000 credits. Even if you just get it for the mastery and then leave it in your inventory ready for when the melee work comes, it, it, you know, it might be worth doing it that way just for that. So, yeah. And then, I guess the final thing is the Sand of an Aros reprint. So if you haven't got an Aros yet, you can always pick this up and run through the quest. So that takes, basically that's it for Barrow's inventory this time around. Wow, Saren and your giant sword. Hey, Saren. Um, yeah, basically. We've got the new Prime coming out next week, which is going to be Chroma Prime, the Rubico Prime, and the Gram Prime. So I'm going to be streaming the hunt for that uh, live on Twitch TV. So I hope I can see you all there for that. Yeah, I'm going to have a bunch of uh, Warframe videos coming next week. That's definitely the plan anyway. But for now, I hope you check out my Destiny series. I hope you check out for Forgotten Anne. I've had a lot of fun in both of those. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching, and I shall catch you in the next one. Cheers everyone, bye bye.